Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this tutorial, we will be configuring SSL VPN and Checkpoint Firewall to provide users with secure, seamless, remote access to corporate networks and resources when traveling or working remotely. So guys, before we proceed with the configuration, let us have a quick overview on the network design. So guys, in this tutorial, exactly what we are going to do is we will be configuring SSL VPN on our checkpoint firewall so that a user sitting outside your network, a user who want to work remotely will be able to access the internal that is the LAN resources. So depending upon your need, either you can give user a full privileges that means that full access to your internal network or a restricted access which means that you can decide that a certain machine should be only accessible on specific port number. So in the coming time, we will be seeing how you will customize the configuration as per your, customize the access as per your requirement. Let's begin with the configuration. So guys, before we proceed with the configuration, let's create a remote access user. We will be creating a local users who will be accessing a remote access further on we will be also seeing how you can integrate the active directory for the remote access users so very first thing what we are going to do is click on new button over here more create let's create two of the users at least with the default template Let's give the name it underscore admin. These are the optional things. Email address, phone number you can leave. Group for now, we will skip. Authentication, you can select checkpoint password and we will set the password. Click OK and location for now, we will say any to any. We won't be configuring a schedule the certificate also you can leave as it is encryption the default that is ike and click ok so we have created one user let's create one more user uh, let's give the name security admin second score admin and you know rest all things will be as it is just we need to set the password we will set the password for this user as well. And click OK. Once you have created the user, create a user group. Let's say VPN access group. And we will add those users over here. click ok and better uh, guys do one more thing let's create an access role also over here access role and we will give the name as VPN access where the users we will be adding the group which we created right now specific users and group what I did, I have given the name, I then came to users. On the network, I have kept any network. Users, I will be just adding the user group over here. From here, we later on we will do the AD integration. For now, we will, we will be doing with the local users, right? So internal user group and select this group, VPN access group. And click OK, rest all thing will be default. Click OK. Guys, we would have done over here directly with the user group which we created, that is VPN access group. The reason why I have added a role is maybe you might face some difficulty when you will be creating a rule. If you wish, you can try it. Maybe it will work, but for in some of the uh, cases, maybe it will not work if you have not enabled the blades properly, like more over the firewall blades and all. So the best practice is to create an access role and add that group in the access role. We are done with this. 
now we will follow a standard practice that we will be opening a software blade just double click over here on the checkpoint gateway and then enable the ipsec vpn over here a few more settings what you have to do is i will show you go to ipsec vpn over here you have to add this right but before that what we will do just check this box ipsec vpn and click ok once you are done with this go to security policies in security policies just uh, go to vpn communities seems like my laptop performance is a bit slow you have to click on vpn communities you will find two communities over here pre-configured communities my internet remote access you can create the new community if you wish but we will be editing the same one and we will use the remote access community the pre-configured community over here in the participating gateway just check this plus over here and select our checkpoint gateway close it the second thing what you have to do is participant user group and we will add our user group over here which is vpn access group right and click ok once you are done with this again go to gateways and servers over here just open this and then go over here in ipsec vpn double click over here and go now you will see that remote access community is added i would have added from here also but why i have shown because i want to show you exactly from where it is taking so that's the reason i have taken you to vpn communities to give you a more clarity the link selection this option you keep it as default going to vpn advance over here uh, even this option you will keep as default you have to do some slight changes in vpn client i will show you guys now over here uh, to be very honest we only need this check endpoint security vpn rest all thing we don't need actually but for now we will keep it or else actually in this lab this uh, endpoint security vpn is more than enough for us just double click to expand in authentication you will set the authentication as username and password from here and click ok then in the office mode going to office mode over here you can select offer office mode to group vpn access group and over here you will select uh, you can create a new from from here or else you have a uh, you, you can see cp default office mode address pool you can select this option from here the basically why we are selecting this because for using this pool your client will get an ip address okay so we will be going later on uh, over here in the objects and we will check whether the ip address whether the network which is being used by this pool uh, is conflicting with our uh, network scenario or not then comes a remote access you will keep these options as default and then finally click ok And guys there is an option for mobile access also that we will cover in the coming tutorial so once this is done finally you have to create a vpn rule go to security policy access control policies and let's create one rule over here above this we will give the name of the rule as remote access let's select the source as the identity role which we have created now that is vpn access close it the destination will be your internal lan because 
from outside this uh, is the area which the remote user want to access right so we have given the internal lan vpn just right click over here click on specific vpn communities and we will select this vpn community which we have edited as per our requirement that is remote access services and application for now we will switch to any action is accept log the traffic and the gateway is checkpoint sorry install on checkpoint gateway and finally before we proceed let's check that object network also the pool address double click over here it is 172.16.10.0 as you will see it is not con conflicting with our existing network but anyhow let's do one thing we will say like uh, let's change the IP address to 192.168.100.0 which is not in our network anyhow that was also not there I am just uh, editing this to show you how you can change it and click on ok this address should be the one uh, this net, uh, network address or you can say the IP pool should be the one which is not usable in the network ok and finally click on install policy publish and install click over here select on lab policy the our policy package click install and let's wait for our policy to be installed successfully so once our policy is installed successfully then we will move out from here and we are going to download the SSL VPN client and then we will validate our configuration as a usual practice what we follow in each and every tutorial So guys as you can see our policy is successfully installed over here Now what we are going to do we will just move out from here and we will be trying to connect to our VPN client from outside So very first we will be downloading the SSL VPN client uh, let's search for remote access VPN checkpoint. And then click on this first link. Just scroll down a little and you will see download VPN. Click over here. Remote access for Windows. Download this file. on download and you can see the download has started now it is downloaded now and what we are going to do is we will run this setup It has started the installation now. Click next. One security VPN. This is only what we require for now. Click next. I accept the terms in, in the license agreement. Click next. Install.
So guys, our VPN client is installed successfully. Click finish over here. And now very first thing you will see it is in the hidden tray over here. And the very first thing what we are going to do is you will just right click over here on the VPN client and click on VPN options. Add the new site over here. Click next. Server address or name, it will be your WAN interface IP address that is 192.168.0.200. If you want to give display name, it is optional. You can give, just check this display name and you can give name. Let me give the name Lab VPN. Click on next button. The site is created successfully. Click finish. It is saying that would you like to connect? Click on yes button over here it is asking you for username and password you remember we have created a user right so let's give the name it underscore admin and we will give the password and click on connect button over here So guys, as you can see, the connection is successful now. It is saying that trying to reconnect. Uh, okay, fine. There's some issue with my network adapter. Let's wait. Okay. Connection is successful. So now you are connected to the VPN using a VPN client. So guys, that's all about the configuration of SSL VPN in the checkpoint firewall. In the coming tutorial, we will be seeing like how you can use your Active Directory to integrate uh, and use the remote access VPN. I mean, how you will use your Active Directory user for the remote access connectivity. And uh, in that tutorial, we will be also enabling the mobile access blade and we will see how that works as well. So guys, that's all in this tutorial. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe it now and do share with your friend. Thanks and see you in the next tutorial.